A few months back, I heard that Dogfish Head Brewery and Kodak collaborated to make a beer that would double as a film developer. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Now let's see if it's better at developing film. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No. No. No, I won't. Mm -hmm. That's not better in my head. To make this work, you're going to need three ingredients. First off, the beer. So this is Super 8 by Dogfish Head. You're going to need two cans. As far as I'm aware, it's only sold in six packs. You need 500 milliliters. Uh, you're going to need 16, or I'm sorry, yeah, 500 milliliters. That's a 12 ounce can, uh, 16 ounces total. So about one and a half cans ish. Then you're going to need vitamin C. You want the powder. You do not want tablets. This is regular grocery store um, in the uh, vitamins and uh, pharmacy section. So this particular container is from Whole Foods because my local Walmart doesn't sell any. Uh, last thing you're going to need is baking soda. This is sodium bicarbonate. So you don't need anything other than just the regular grocery store stuff. 100% sodium bicarbonate, and that'll work. You are going to need a scale because we do need to measure out specific amounts of the uh, baking soda and vitamin C. Okay, then of course your usual stop bath fixer, photo flow, that sort of thing. So to mix this up, to get the powdered ingredients to dissolve, we're going to need to heat the beer up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is, because I don't know the conversion off the top of my head, 90, we're looking at about 33 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> uh, you'll need to maintain it at that temperature. Now the original Kodak instructions had um, heating in a pot over a stove. No reason to do that if you have a dark room. We're just going to use a hot water bath. So I'm just going to use hot tap water and uh, submerge my measuring, co uh, measuring container into that. So it'll take a little bit of time, but it uh, should not be difficult. Before I get involved with that, however, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my two dry ingredients. So I need 12 grams of vitamin C and 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate. So let's start with that. Okay, so first off, I'm going to measure out my vitamin C. So I've got my coffee filter and we're gonna put in 12 grams. There we go. Set that aside. And we will measure out the sodium bicarbonate. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and pour in our 500 milliliters. Don't worry about foaming at this point. We're going to let that settle. Another one in there. Go ahead and let it lose its head because you're going to need to make sure you get 500 milliliters of liquid. And then once you have that, do what you will with the rest. Set that aside for now. <clears throat> now you're going to be tempted to mix your powder in here. Do not. So let's put it into a larger container. This is a five liter container. Um, and it may seem like overkill for 500 milliliters, but believe me, it is not. So pour that in. Again, don't worry about it foaming. We're going to allow it to lose as much carbonation as possible. So at this point, we want to heat it up. So to do that, we're going to use a water bath. So I've got this um, plastic container. I'm going to fill this up with hot tap water. 
we're going to put this in here and um, just circulate that to allow the liquid to get up to and maintain its temperature. So let me fill this up. Take your large container of beer, put it in there, and bring it up at least to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Might take a few minutes. Alright, so I'm up to about 92. So now at this point, get a stir paddle, and you're going to need to do this fairly quickly. I'm going to leave it in the hot water. Take your vitamin C, pour it in, and stir vigorously. It may foam up. That is okay. Get the vitamin C completely dissolved. Next, take your baking soda and you're going to put that in and stir vigorously. This is going to foam up a lot. Like a volcano. It's going to be probably completely foam at this point. That's okay. Just stir vigorously. It will blend. Now, the first time I did this did not work because I saw it foam up and so I tried to do it in small batches. It let my temperature drop and I didn't stir vigorously enough. Don't do that. I had much better success just dumping it in, allowing it to foam, and just mix, mix, mix. It will go back into solution. Give it a few minutes. Okay, so I thoroughly mixed it. You do not need to change it back to a smaller container. I did that simply um, to make it a little easier to see what we're doing here on camera. Um, the head is almost completely gone. Stirring vigorously, um, even now, just to make sure that we're losing as much carbonation as possible. It's not a bad idea. We don't want this to fizz up uh, while we're, we're agitating the film. So, I'm just going to kind of keep it stirring a little bit just to make sure I lose all the rest of my carbonation. Um, if you don't want to, you can just sit back and let it happen naturally. It will go flat over time, um, but the more carbonation we lose, the better. You also do not need to keep this at 90 degrees. Once everything is dissolved, which it is, you can allow this to get to room temperature as well. However, because temperature does make it develop faster, if you develop while it is still very warm, uh, or begin your development while it's still very warm, you'll get um, better results. So while I'm going to let it cool naturally as it's in the tank, I'm gonna keep it warm when I start. Now, if you have a leaky tank like I do, I suggest you glove up for this. And then go ahead and get your stop bath and fixer prepared because um, you're going to need those coming up as well. All right, at this point, we are ready to develop. So I'm going to be using just a standard two reel tank. I've got Tri X in here. Uh, you can use whatever film you like, but the original instructions are for Tri X Super 8 film. I'm just using regular 35 millimeter. And let's get this started. Unlike regular film where we have intermittent agitation, this is very low activity. We are going to have to agitate nonstop for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to do 20 minutes. So let's pour this in. Cap it, minutes, and agitate. Now, as we agitate, let's go a little bit over why does this work? And to stop from making a big mess, I'm gonna do this over the water. Well, the beer itself is a high fruit juice beer. 
Um, it uses a lot of fruit tannins, and those tannins, much like pyrogallol, act as a developing agent. They will reduce the silver salt to silver metal, but they're very, very weak. The vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Now, if you've ever used Kodak Extol, then you have used an ascorbic acid developer. But ascorbic acid on its own is also relatively weak. So together, what they do is something called super additivity. They work off of each other to make a much more active developing agent than either one on their own. The sodium bisulfite acts as an accelerator. So it makes both of them more active by putting them into a high alkaline environment. Now the, um, the foaming that we got is basically your school science fair volcano because we put a bunch of alkaline into an acidic environment and so it foamed up as they neutralized. But once we let the dust settle, or the foam in this case, we were left with an alkaline developer with two active ingredients um, being fruit tannins and ascorbic acid. All right, we have just about reached the end of my time. So let's dump that. And let's stop bath. You could probably use a water acid uh, stop bath instead of an acidic. Keep it from doing that. I'm not too concerned. My dark room, but dark room gets messy. All right, and now our fixer. All right, fixing time is over. Now, if you want to do a fixer remover, go right ahead. At this point, I'm using a non-hardening fixer, so I'm just going to uh, wash. So we can do a running, running water wash. All right, let's see how this turned out. All right, we actually have images. Uh, maybe hard for you to see at this angle. Let's move the, uh, this over to my light box. And here's the result. Not the most exciting photograph. That was not the point of this exercise. But what I have shot here was bracketing. So it's a 400 speed film, 400, 200, 100. So there's 100 up here. Um, it lost two stops of light. I would say the 100 ISO shot is the one with the most shadow detail without losing anything, but it's a very low contrast shot. It's just not quite getting the uh, type of contrast that you would expect, but um, you can easily fix that by longer development. And as you can see for yourself, it does work. It's more low contrast than I actually anticipated, but considering when I was doing research for this, there were virtually no results uh, visible to see. And what results I did see were pretty lackluster. I admit, I'm a little surprised. It's actually worked better than I anticipated. And my first attempt was a complete and total disaster. Is it worth it? I'd have to say no. For one, there are much easier uh, developer formulas out there. There is just not enough contrast uh, after 20 minutes of constant agitation. Easier things to use. And then there's the cost. This was, I want to say $16 for a six pack. 
and you use one and a half cans for one tank, that's not cheap. So as a novelty, sure, go out there, do it, say you've done it. Will I use this for any of my actual photographs? No, I won't. So besides, it makes my whole small, uh, dark room smell like beer. And that's not something I typically like. I like the smell of fixer. Uh, so I can't recommend this as something I would definitely use all the time as just a novelty for fun. Yeah, go ahead, try it, see what you think. If you've used something unusual, uh, then put it down in the comments. I would love to see what you are using. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will make more videos.